Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, today we're taking a look at the brand new Dell XPS 13 Plus. Now I got to check this out before CES, and honestly, I was quite impressed with what Dell had to offer. Now, besides me sitting down and them explaining different things, the one thing I'll tell you with this device is that once you get it in your hands, it feels really comfortable and really nice. It's got that CNC premium machine build to it, so you've got something that feels and looks just as good as you would expect. Now, let's look at the keyboard. Uh, this thing has edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, nice key travel, nice typing uh, surface. You've also got to have a glass touchpad, uh, which they've also had the glass cover from one edge to the other. So you've got something that feels comfortable with haptic feedback as well on there. And this is, of course, Gorilla Glass, so of course you're not gonna have something that breaks quite easily. Now, that's a lot packed into this device. Let's not forget, though, it does come with a brand new Intel 12th Gen processor, and of course you do have DDR5 uh, options with this as well, as well as DDR4. And other specs you find is that, of course, with a Dell XPS, there is an OLED display ver uh, model, as well as also a full HD model all the way through. It comes in about 2.73 uh, pounds, really light and comfortable all the way through. Now you've got two USB-C ports here on this device, um, and uh, you also have a 60 watt charger. Now they've gone ahead and changed the design of their charger, so it's more portable. And of course you can use your PC PD charger if you wanted to go ahead and charge the device. Now the device comes with Dolby Vision and the two USB Type-C ports are Thunderbolt. In terms of your processor configuration, you will have at least four configurations. You will have an uh, Core i5 at 4.4, a Core i7 at 4.7, and then you have two more Core i7s at 4.8 and 4.8 respectively. In terms of RAM, you're looking at up to 32 gigabytes of RAM at DDR5, and of course you do have up to two terabytes of storage of NVMe. Now, I think overall, a lot of people will find this brand new Dell XPS Plus to be something more comfortable to use and also having just more of that premium finish. And finally, one thing you did notice on this device is that the capacitive buttons are there in place, of course, your traditional media keys and numlock keys. Uh, and it's quite effective. You can set it to whatever you want to, and it works pretty well, at least from my use case with the Dell XPS 13 Plus. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the XPS 13 Plus, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.